Um, but I'll, I'll be competing my one last time uh, in the beginning of February. Uh, Tito Ortiz versus Chel Sonnen, number two, will be happening. Oh, really? Um, for Freedom Fight Night. And uh, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Uh, two in mixed martial arts, not boxing. Yeah, yeah. In mixed martial arts. 205? Correct, at 205. You train with him in the future, or you guys fight again? Uh, it's more likely for the, the universe to change, and we all look like cartoon characters. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not training with that guy. I don't know what fuck he was thinking. I guess because I asked him how many times a week they work wrestling, but hey, I'm just trying to steal the recipe for me and my guys. That's he right. shot a fast shot. So, you know, it is what it is. So thanks, but no thanks to the uh, the training offer. Uh no thanks whatsoever. <laughs> There's no thank you even involved. It's right. two middle fingers. I ain't gonna throw it up on Ariel Wani's show sure. unless he wants to buzz it out. No, but, it's all uh, right. Yeah. Um, if you had a preference, who would you kind of hope to face if, if one guy falls out? Like, what's the scenario? Who do you who do you like as an opponent better? Man, it's a... Uh, I'll be... Yeah, I'm going to be uh, straight straight up and be honest, and I think uh, Charles. I'd say Charles uh, would be the better opponent. opponent. Um, people say stylistically, yeah, but obviously there's a lot of hype around uh, Charles. You know what I mean? They're, everyone considers him the champ. Thank you.